Now this is the summary statistics of two groups of people. This is the summary statistics of uh, the debt. We're talking about the debt of people without qualification and people with qualification. So this is the uh, box and whisker and this is the informal conference interval. So let's look at the stats. So here yeah, this is the stats or summary statistics of people of debt. We're talking about the debt of two groups of people. Okay, debt of two groups of people, one with without qualification and one with qualification. We want to make an inference which group of people have got more debt or less debt. So this, I hope you know how to calculate stats. Uh, now statistics is not about calculating stats or drawing graphs. It's more about making inference. Any uh, spreadsheet will calculate stats and uh, any program can draw box and whisker. The main thing is to make inference. Now, if you have a median for people without qualification, you've got a median of 23,500 and here the median is 57,000. So by just looking at this, if you say that the median pop, the median debt of people with qualification is 57,000 would not be uh, valid or is not uh, sensible. Here, instead of saying that the population median from the sample median is the same, that's not sensible. So to say a more sensible statement is to talk about the population median in terms of an interval. So what does that mean? So let me show you the formula which you need to know or this would be given in your formula sheet. This is called informal confidence interval of population median from sample median. Now this is a formula. The population median, PM stands for the population median, is between this two interval, which is your sample median minus 1.5 times interquartile range divided by square root of n. This is the lower limit. This is the lower limit and this is the upper limit. And your upper limit is sample median plus 1.5 times interquartile range divided by square root of n. Now what is interquartile range? It is the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. Or this is Q3 minus Q1. And n stands for the sample. It's not sample median, it's a sample size. n stands for the sample size. Whatever your sample size, that is n. So we have calculated the stats and I took a sample of, for both the cases, n was 30. In both the case, the sample size was 30. So first let, let's calculate the, uh, for this group, let's use the calculator. How do you calculate this? This is, let me show you this. Okay, let me show you this side. This is the box and whisker of uh, the people without qualification. So you got a median of 23,000, you got a lower quartile of 12,250, upper quartile of 34,250. So just let's use the formula. So let me drag this here, yeah, that's fine. So go to your run, you can use any calculator. So the formula says it is the sample median. This is your sample median. So you go 23,500 minus 1.5 times the interquartile range, which is the upper quartile minus the lower quartile, which is 34,250 minus 12,250. Let me uh, scroll this. This is 12,000. Delete this. 250. This is the interquartile range divided by shift square root of the sample size, which is 30, which gives me, I've rounded this to the nearest 100, so this is 17,500. So that's how I wrote 17.5. Now, by the way, this graph is in 1,000. So this 17.5 means 17,500. This 20 means 20,000 and so on. So this is a box and whisker, and that's how I got 17,500. Now for the upper limit, you have to change this minus to plus. 
that's all change this into plus and delete the minus which is 29,500 so here you can see what is the what is the meaning of this intervals we can see the median the population median of of the population median of debt of people without qualification is between 17,500 and 29,500 now for this you do the same process so let me drag this to this side so that you know, see the stats so what do you do it's the sample median which is 57,000 minus 1.5 times the interquartile range which is 83,000 minus 39,000 this interquartile range 1.5 times interquartile range divided by shift square root of 30 that's square divided by square root of n which is 49,500 so this sorry this is 45,000 so rounding it to the nearest hundred it is 45,000 that's how I wrote 45 and if you change this into plus plus and delete equal this is 69,000 so here you can see uh, the informal confidence interval of the population median of debt of people without with qualification is between 45,000 and 69,000 so what does what's the inference that you can make well you can say there is no overlap so basically you have to say no overlap no overlap means there is nothing common between the between the two intervals no overlap of confidence interval which implies you can say people with qualification I'm writing in short people with qualification have got greater debt than people without qualification you can make statistical inference that back in the population if you are a person with qualification you are more likely to have more debt than a person without qualification.